Okay guys, the first thing I do is I wash the noodles really well and remove any excess water. Okay, so I added the shirataki noodles to the boiling water and I am going to return this to a boil and let this boil for two to three minutes and then we'll remove it from the um, stove. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and season the noodles. I like to season the noodles, so I put a little bit of salt, and this is about a quarter teaspoon. I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter and a dash of black pepper, just a little bit. I'm just going to mix this together. And this is for our noodles just to give it some flavor. The nice thing about this shirataki noodles is that it takes on the taste of whatever you, the flavor, sorry, of whatever you add to it. So it's going to give our noodles a really nice taste. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but these are the fettuccine ones. I know they have the spaghetti ones, um, but this is the fettuccine. I'm going to go ahead and brown the meat. And this is turkey meat. I'm going to cook this for about five minutes until it's no longer pink. You can see that the um, turkey is cooked. Um, it's no longer pink. Um, it's about five minutes. And I'm going to just remove it. And then we will start sauteing the vegetables. I already have one tablespoon of olive oil in the pan. I'm going to add the onions. I'm going to saute this for about two minutes. Okay, so um, the onions and garlic are nicely done. It's been two minutes. I am going to go ahead and add the meat to the pan. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. And mix that in. Paprika in there. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste and mix that in. Now at this point I'm going to add a little bit of salt to taste. I'm going to put um, about half a teaspoon. Um, you can also taste it and see if it has enough salt for you. I just don't like to cook with a lot of salt, but some people do. So just go ahead and season it to taste. I'm going to add the noodles. I'm going to mix this in. And the noodles will take on the flavor. You guys probably hear me say that on every recipe how yummy it is, but it truly is. And I hope you guys make some of these recipes and leave me comments. Let me know how you like them. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add parsley. It's about one cup of sour cream. It's gonna make it nice and creamy. And this dish is a, it's a great dish to make for the entire family. Um, it's also a great date night dish if you're having a low carb um, menu, <laughs> um, but an excellent dish and, and very simple to make. Of course, the recipe will be on my website, lowcarb360.com, and I'll go ahead and dish this out. Okay, so this is dinner. And just for a little garnish, I sprinkle some parsley over the plate. Like Guys, so. the entire dish tonight was 13 carbs, 3 fibers, so that makes it 10 net carbs. It's a really filling dish and it's really low in carbs. So I hope you guys enjoyed dinner tonight and I'll see you guys next time for another great recipe.